Welcome to Tech Notice, my friends. This over here is something that most people who aren't creators really don't need. But if you are a creator and you're using a NAS, then this is probably something that you should be looking into. So in this video, we're going to be looking at what is an unmanaged switch or just a network switch. Why would you need that and uh, how to set it up? Let's go. Looking for a cheap way to license your windows? Check out WhoKeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out WhoKeys.com in the video description below. If you hear a little bit of a whizzing here, it's uh, this PC running benchmarks here at the same time while with filming this video. So basically this is a NAS 2.5 gigabit switch from ASUS store. It's got five ports and it's an unmanaged switch. So what is a switch and what does it do? So basically it's easier to explain when you see this thing over here. So this over here is my setup in the studio. We've got a Wi-Fi router over here that, you know, delivers internet and connects some of the other things into the internet. It's got one RJ45 10 gigabit ethernet port. It's got another one, but that's uh, SPDF plus SPDF you know, the other one. Uh, and then lots of one gigabit parts over here. The one black over here is the 10 gigabit one. Then I've got my editing PC that's got one 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. Then I've got my one NAS setup, the main ASUS NAS that's got two 2.5 gigabit like ethernet parts. Then I've got a secondary NAS that's got two one gigabit ethernet parts. And then there's secondary PC usually like other PCs that I'm testing or having here that are also connected to either the internet or NAS and they usually have one or two gigabit ethernet switches over here. So then at the moment how everything is connected over here, I'm using this orange kind of color so you can see, is that my editing PC is connected to the NAS over here, uh, so which means that I can get 2.5 gigabit connection directly from the NAS. All the files and B-roll that's stored on this NAS can be connected to my editing PC, the main editing PC. And then the Wi-Fi over here, that is connected wirelessly to the internet over here. So I get Wi-Fi. It's very fast Wi-Fi. I don't need to worry about that. It's Wi-Fi 6E, so that's no problem. Then this NAS over here, because it doesn't have Wi-Fi, the secondary port over here is connected to the 10 gigabit port over here. So basically I can access the files over the internet. But now the thing is, if my secondary PC is connected, you know, here, to the one gigabit pod, that means that I am limited to just this secondary PC, only one gigabit speeds of the NAS drives, because this pod over here is one gigabit in speeds. So that's gonna be the bottleneck over here. The secondary one gigabit pod, you know, could be connected over here as well, but it gets internet and so on. The secondary NAS is just connected to the one gigabit pods, and then there's no problem over there. But basically, as you can see, the secondary PC and the Wi-Fi, we're not getting enough ports over here to make use of this NAS system over here, because two computers can pull both at the same time time 2.5 gigabits from this NAS at the same time. So in order to do that, we have something over here. This is an unmanaged switch. There's managed switches and unmanaged switches. Now you can go really in detail and look on other videos about this, but basically unmanaged switch, what it does is basically just heck of a lot of ethernet ports with certain speeds and then it connects everything that's connected to that, whether internet or other computers or other devices, it just connects them all into like one network. If you have a managed switch, then you can actually manage each like port on the switch and then decide what this port is gonna do. Like, okay, we're gonna send them only internet or we're gonna send them other data or you can just basically manage and control what gets transferred to which computer and which computer is exactly connected and nothing else. You can kind of manage the networks inside the you know, switch. But for most people, I think the unmanaged switch as a creator is the one that really makes a difference unless you're like some kind of tech support for or a creative, you know, a big company, then you might want to look into the managed switches. But basically what this switch is going to do is, let's put the switch over here in the middle and we're going to create one, two, three, four, five parts over here. And now my editing PC, everything over here in the middle is 2.5 gigabits, okay? 
right? And now my editing PC is going to be connected to one of those. This switch is also going to be connected to the Wi-Fi router, which means that it's going to get internet through this, as well as other connectors that are connected to the Wi-Fi, you know, router over here. I've got a very fast one, RX 6000 something from ASUS. If you haven't seen the X570 Pro at video, I mentioned that, you know, router over there if you want to check that out. And then this NAS over here, both of these ports, I'm going to connect to this 2.5 gigabit switch over here. And then I still have one, you know, free over here, which means that now I can connect the secondary PC, whatever PC I'm using over here, also to this switch over here. Let's use uh, this 2.5 gigabit port over here. I've connected it over here. So now everything is connected. And you might be saying, hey, but your NAS, secondary NAS isn't connected. But that's the wonder of this. If I'm going to connect this secondary NAS still like the same way to the internet over here, let's say over there and then over there, that means that through the internet, because this switch is connected here via 10 gigabit ethernet, nothing is a bottleneck anymore. Both of these are going to run to one gigabit ports over here and then I can access them through this you know connection over here which is 2.5 gigabits and nothing is going to be bottlenecked. Everyone gets internet, everyone gets everything now because even my editing PC over here gets e internet and other connections on the server or on the network over here as you can see because this 2.5 connection over here is connected to the internet as well so as you can see I'm getting internet through this as well which is fantastic I can use the Wi-Fi over here as well if I wanted to but this basically connects everything together and that's what we're going to be doing did that make sense or not sense let me know in the comment section below the nicest thing about this particular model over here is this is ASW 25T 5 port 2.5 gig base T unmanaged switch this is basically just plug and play so you don't like need to install any drivers you just kind of put the power plug into this let's see what you have over here see the power plug and and that's it we're gonna take the UK one there we go UK plug and then we've got this switch oh as you can see we've got some uh, rubber feet for this as well here's all the connectors one two three four five and then we're just gonna plug it in super simple and then on the back you've got you know the power for this it's gonna be two amperes and 12 volts so that's it let's plug it in Okay, another interesting thing about this NAS is that you can see those LED lights there like left and right. On the left side, if the LED is green, that means that it's connected to 2.5 gigabits in speed. If the left side is orange, that means it's connected with 1 gigabit speed. But if the left side is off, like on the fifth part over here, then that means that it's only connected at 10 megabits or 100 megabits speed as you can see over here now i'm not sure if this is the bad cable over here or because my other pc or the second pc is turned off so at the moment it's just showing you know like nothing i bet when it turns on then we can see what this is but it's just like a cool way to see whether your cables are working and all the connections are working the right side means that if it's yellow if it's blinking that means it's transferring data and if it's just on it's working as intended so just like a cool led way to see your cables are working if all the ports are actually you know working properly so it's such a simple thing but you know it actually makes a big difference here in the office when I'm transferring data all the time different pieces it's a huge little addition and doesn't cost that much either if you want to check this out you can check it out in the description below by the way I know this is a Suster switch but it actually works with all sorts of different NASes so if you have a different NAS you can actually use it still if you want to it's very affordable very nice just feel free to check it out it's all working over there so I'm very happy thanks guys for watching I'll see you soon bye bye